<laughs> I was going to try to do that, but I was oh, like, yeah? no, it's, it's all no? you Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Maybe next time. Next time, Ingrid is going to do the da, 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 da. <laughs> Hey, everyone, and welcome to the High Heels Happy Hour Podcast. And welcome, welcome. Uh, we uh, have not changed. We're still Christina and Ingrid, yes. right? Yes. 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 Although our topics over, uh, we have slightly shift, shifted the content, as those of you know that have listened for a while, more than just doing uh, entrepreneurial stuff. We have been doing lifestyle, self-improvement stuff. Which a little bit of everything. So cool. And yes. I think uh, it looks like... Um, you out there find those topics really exciting as well. Mm -hmm. So um, before we go into today, we're going to talk about fall health reset Love because it. we are in September. Hello, September. It's my favorite season. It is. I don't know if it's great. technically Florida has four seasons. Well, we, we have a version of it. It's but called less snow, humid. Yeah, the snow throws me but, off a little bit. But it's, it's, I still love all the stuff that comes with it. Yes. I love that it's the pumpkin flavors. I love the, and all the kind of like the, the foods colors. you eat. The colors are great. Yes, I happen to look better in those fall colors. But <laughs> I did ask Christina for a, a, a leaf, but I don't think we found one. There was not a leaf. It wasn't that fall. Nothing had really fallen down. Yeah. yeah. So I'll have to go up and yeah. visit. Yeah. I love the fall. Okay, so let's check in. Yes. So week is great. Uh, yeah. Both the children made the school teams. Yay. So that's always exciting. Yeah. Uh, Last year they didn't, and that was really sad. Yeah, that's, that's that was tough. Like a tough mom. I was like, yeah. wait, who made the team, and why didn't you make it? And yeah, they're like, yeah. mom, leave it alone. I'm like, what do you mean? My child only had a bad day at the tryouts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really happy and excited for them this year. Great. So, how about you? Yeah, and it it keeps you busy though, having oh. kids in school sports and after school sports and all of the above. Yeah. Um. I was, you were, uh, uh, what do you say? Oh, I didn't mention Referring yeah. to leaves. I was in Ingrid's hometown of Boston for right. the first time in my life. And, and I loved it. Now it was you great. Know it was just I as great it. as everyone said it was going to yes. be. It was a great small, I mean, it's not small, but a small big town. You can walk around it. Um love that it's kind of european that way that it's not um i mean you could walk we I walked a lot and visited our good friend the fan of Borishes, and they had a fabulous house lived in uh chestnut hill oh, such nice. a pretty area right next to boston college which was great so yeah all and of you us walked went, on the cobblestone did walk on the cob the very cobblestone road yes <laughs> and um yeah we went around all of it and then, yeah, the whole family went, which was fun. Last little rah-rah before someone goes off to college. But I'm not going to cry yet. Uh, but no, I love Boston. It was really great. So I do fun. too. So I'm yeah. so glad you got to go because yeah. it's one of my favorite, if not my favorite yeah. city. Yeah, that so. was great. Okay, right, so I will go do my life hack. Yes, please I, share. So... We're in pumpkin season, and I am one of those that love everything pumpkin. Pumpkin candles, yes. pumpkin scent, pumpkin everything. I have so, a shirt that says everything pumpkin spice, yes, but I you couldn't it. really read it because it's lower down, so I figured out. <laughs> so I wanted to share how to make something healthy mm -hmm. with all the new pumpkin Lattes. Oh yeah, because those don't, they don't uh, have any pumpkin whatsoever in them and they have tons of sugar. Yes, they taste probably really good. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to give you an alternative, which is a pumpkin protein shake. <gasps> so you can either do vanilla or chocolate, whatever mm -hmm. you like, and do pumpkin puree. Yeah. So I do, I believe a quarter cup. Okay. I'm, I'm more of an eye. You know, uh huh. By, yeah. By eye. Yeah. With pumpkin spice, like the powder. Pumpkin yeah. spice, nutmeg. You don't mean the powder. You mean the spice. The spice. Yes. What's powder? 
or powder if if you maybe there's a protein powder or something. Oh, okay, yeah. the spice, pumpkin spice, spice <laughs> cinnamon spice. Mm -hmm. a little bit of vanilla mm -hmm. and nutmeg and clove to taste mm -hmm. and put that in a blender with some ice mm -hmm. <gasps> and you do protein powder a with protein it powder, yes. and then just regular pumpkin that sounds yes. yummy so good and it's good for you too yes. so yeah i'm gonna try that definitely could be good with chocolate protein powder too uh, chocolate i love pumpkin. chocolate <gasps> so i do everything chocolate okay so now i'm gonna have two life hacks for today because i just remembered something okay so pumpkin do you know that we give our dog georgie pumpkin puree i mean you know yes. your babies have, uh, every night because it's good for the tummy so if they are a little bit she tends to can get a little bit loose um eating a little pumpkin puree firms it up a little bit it has a lot of fiber in it hmm. um but yeah, so I if your dog, instead of giving them medicine, if your dog has a tendency of going a little loose, give her a pumpkin. She loves it. So she eats more pumpkin than any of us. Huh? Well, she's always prepared for the fall. Always. Huh. And we thought she is beige colored, but we thought maybe she'll turn orange, but she has not. <laughs> so there you have it. And then I have one more life hack. Yeah, so today you all got a bonus. You get a bonus. That's right. So this is my last travel hack in a while because, you know, it's now over for the summer. But, okay, so you all need to get one of these. It doesn't have to look exactly like this. But do you know what this is, Ingrid? Ooh. It's a, uh, what is it? What does it read when you turn it on? Oh, you turn it on and whoops, you, uh, Is that my shoe scale? scale no <laughs> this is a bag scale so you hang this around the handle and then you lift this up and it tells you exactly what your bag weighs so you know because you have to over um uh, over you, you pay a lot for for bags that are go over uh, weight limits these days. Yes, you do. So one of the, this in itself weighs nothing. So you can travel with it. Cause often when I go to Europe, I know my bag is, you know, within recents and then packing it for going home when you purchase some stuff, you're, you're like, shopping. and you try my, before it was my husband trying to lift it. And then you try to put yourself on the scale with the bag it does not work. So, I think everyone needs to invest huh. in one of these. And also for if, even if you only do carry-ons, some of the uh, airlines have restrictions on how much a carry-on bag can weigh. Of course. Cause so you know. it could, it's a great idea. I don't recommend hanging yourself in this and trying to weigh yeah. yourself, but um, I guess you could weigh your dog. You could put the harness on, you attach this to the harness and you lift the dog. That is correct. Good. You can weigh Christina's Maybe. dog. Yes, that is true. That is true. <laughs> Maybe not champ. No. But yeah. So I'm gonna put a link in yes. Amazon to some of these bag scales that I like because I think this one is something everyone. It should be passport bag scale, whatever. Yeah, other I don't have one. I should because yeah. Usually, well, I used to pack all three children in one yeah. bag. Yeah, but they're getting but a also little... children. The older they get, the more stuff they're, or the more their stuff weighs. No, it doesn't. Well, so we're all of a sudden, ready it's like, well, Bella's stuff weighs as much as mine. So, and now she wants it. multiple shoes too, which of course adds up. All right. So last week we talked about fun fitness ideas, fun fall fitness. Hope I gave you some uh, good tips or things we can all do. So we're continuing on this fall health kick uh, because it is timely and um, it's after the summer. You know, it's a little bit of a reset for all of us, not just the kids in school, but for all of us as well. So I have put together a list of some simple things. I am going to do, concentrate on doing more of myself 
but it's also a combination of I, you know, I listen to a lot of, of health podcasts. I read a lot of, of health and nutrition fitness books. So these are kind of the reoccurring because you know there's so many tips yeah. out there, mm -hmm. but these are the reoccurring things that all of us can do. And I know for me myself personally, um, I know I'm, I just need to concentrate and do a little more of them. Are you ready? I'm ready. I think I'm so. Ready. We'll see what you think about these. Okay. Okay. So, fall health reset, and maybe it's a challenge. See for those of you listening, see how many of these you can actually do mm -hmm. or be mindful of going forward. Maybe you can do a little bit of all of them, and then you're going to be in a great place. For me, it's not just a question of losing weight or it's a reset i feel why i'm gonna do more of it it's i feel like after the summer i've been eating more i've been drinking more it's just i need a reset my body needs a reset um we'll talk more about health resets coming forward because mm -hmm. september is uh, mental health awareness month as well but it for me now physically these are the things that i'm gonna do for my reset Okay. I love it. Without further ado, let's go. Number one, I'm not going to sound like a broken record, but we need to do more resistant training. Resistance training. So, what is resistance training? Working your muscles. So, it could be with weights, it can be with bands, it could be with body weight if you're just starting out. And we talked about this last week as well and mentioned it before, but you need to work concentrate and prioritize resistance training so i know us women we think the only way to lose weight is by doing cardio no you need to shift your focus especially if you are 40 and over so not us i'm saying like not i <laughs> yeah did you forget that you had your photo no but if you are the older we get, the more resistance training we need to do because our muscles will will automatically deteriorate or you know go down yeah. in strength. Um, they say after forty, you do one percent, you get one percent weaker a year or something like that. Oh, man. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So and on that, real quick. Uh -huh. So a lot of women, mm -hmm. I hear this a lot. Yeah. And if you're listening, I hope this. This is not you, but a lot of women have a concern that if they lift weights, they're going to get bulky. Yeah, you dream on. That's what I'm going to say. Dream on. Honey. And I have lifted weights for, you know how hard it is to get bulky? No, you I, need I to, know that. Yeah. But no, it's, I know. I, I, I know. hear Don't women. worry. Yes. If you think, women out there, if you think you're going to get bulky, then you need to spend like six, seven hours in the gym a day and maybe eat some steroids then maybe you'll get bulky. <laughs> See, I have lifted weights for, been a body pump instructor for years. I am not very bulky. No, you need yeah. to, that, that's not going to happen, but you will get toned. Yeah, so don't be scared of, of lifting. Yeah, no, absolutely not. And don't be scared of lifting heavy. Because it needs to, resistance training. If you're not lifting heavy enough, there's no resistance. So really I love work for that. So, so for me personally, I've done two, twice a week for teach twice a week. So that's been my major resistance training. I am bumping it up to four times a week. So what it's going to look like is I do twice a week. I do body pump, which is a full body resistance workout. And then the other two times I'm going to concentrate on lower body one day and upper body the other day. I can't wait. I know. And don't forget, when the more muscle mass you have, the more, the freer you are with what you can eat. Because muscles are sugar sponges. They suck up the, the glucose in your blood. So you can get away with cheating more, or eating more unhealthy stuff. Not that you would. But when the more muscle you have, because you burn more even in I'll take two pumpkin spice latte. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I wouldn't so, waste it on that. Yeah, and, and muscles are really, they are like physical spanks. They hold everything. 
thing. Full body spank. Yes. Yes to that. So if you're not doing any resistance training today and you are a woman, you need to start ASAP. Cut out on the cardio. Do give yourself more time for um, for resistance. So if you're someone who plays tennis or pickleball, great. But it's that's not resistance training. You're not working the muscles. You're getting some cardio. And then women are, we're prone to osteoporosis. Absolutely. A lot. Sooner and sarcopenia than, and all those yeah. those things so yes a lot yes. sooner and a lot very once it starts it almost yeah. expedites because it's it's so much harder to catch up than just to start now yeah and so. i can share too my I, I told you about my mom has had some some health issues lately and one of the things she has developed an autoimmune system mm -hmm. that's very rare rare but it attacks her muscles so it breaks down the muscles. So it's so important that you have some muscle mass to start yeah. with if something like that were to happen. Or if you break something and you're in the hospital and you can't move for a while, you know, muscle loss gets greater well, and greater. Well, they say if you don't use it, you, you lose, lose it. it. Yes. So. so yes, that's number one and there's number one for a reason. So increase your resistance training, bump it up wherever you are, unless you're seven times a week but otherwise <laughs> bump it up and um, personally i'm gonna do at least four times what is your goal my goal well this is this training yes i've always done like three to four i love okay. i haven't gone to the gym in a little bit mm -hmm. this, the time schedule but i love lifting like yeah. lifting to me so is, even if you're so you could do it at home with bands yes yeah i don't have bands so I'm gonna get fans. so I didn't I give you great and I gave you a link for that last week. Yes. I'm yes. gonna I'm gonna get get some uh -huh. fans and uh -huh. I do have a rower. Yeah. So yeah. I have that. Yeah. So I'm gonna rower is a lot of cardio though too. So it's nothing wrong with cardio, you should still do some, but that's not gonna replace your resistance training. Then yeah. it's better to work with bands or get some uh get get some work. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So I will do, let's, I'll do four because I love, I love, I love working out. Yeah. So yeah, I just got have it. Yeah. And I've been someone who's been running like a maniac all these years. And, you know, one of my, my goals was to run a marathon, which I had scratched out because in order to be able to run a marathon, I would have to decrease my resistance training mm -hmm. and that's not going to happen. So bye-bye marathon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, okay. Number two. And you've heard me talk about this before and all our guests as well, but eat more whole foods. This is a category I'm really good at eating whole foods. So what is a whole food that's been as close to nature as you can get it? So a whole food would be a sweet potato, a vegetable, a fruit that has not, it's not applesauce. Applesauce is a processed food. Anytime humankind has done something to touched it. <laughs> touched it somehow, well, they need to cut it or pluck it from the tree. But when you it's been in a factory and turned into something, then yeah. it's a process. Sure, you can process foods at home. You can make your own applesauce. And yes, it is processed, but at least you have a better idea of what you put in it. So what I am doing on across in this category, eating more whole foods is really making sure when I buy something that it's in its raw form. That means when you buy meat, since I do that now, and meat, chicken, anything, you buy it uncooked, okay. unmarinated, uh, and it's, you know, you do it yourself. Why is that so important? Because anytime anything is processed, there are additives added to it. There's also seed oils added to it, meaning oils that are not good for you, that are oxidating your blood. So, and, and that means that it's inflammatory. And so when you do it yourself, you can make sure that you add only good and healthy ingredients, spices, all that. Uh, you own sofrito. That we talked about too. You have to let me know when you make it. Yes, I have not made it yet. I got the recipe. Thank you. But trying to do um, cut down on anything coming out of a box, anything uh, with wheat products, you know, because that wheat is super processed. 
and yeah and watch those those labels we talked about that before too the ingredients lists best is if they don't have a label whatsoever because that means it's straight from nature but if it, they do make sure it is um very few ingredients so eat more whole foods how many how much can you cut out on um process probably a lot it would be just mm -hmm. the time yep it is definitely a little more time consuming you get your bank account is going to thank you because it's a lot cheaper doing it yourself but also when you make things yourself you can do bigger quantities for the same amount of money and also you can make ahead yeah so it's a little it's, meal prepping it's but interesting how we society pays for convenience yeah. So couldn't you have someone make it for you? Yes, sure. If you have a place where you know that there it's made to order and it's really healthy or they haven't put a bunch of um, preservatives and fillers and um, thickeners in it, then sure, if you have that. But most of the things we do buy has, yeah, has, has a it. Lot of and staff. you can just see from the how long can it sit on a shelf? Really long? That's not good. When you get an expiration date for a sauce and it's like six years out. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> uh, yeah. So oh. try to eat as clean as uh, straight from the ground or the cow or whatever it is you can. I'm, I'm laughing really loud inside oh. because I was just thinking our MREs from uh -huh. the military yeah i think the expiration date is like 15 years out oh wow yeah and, that's you know, quite process when you, when you uh that is we quite hurt, process. We, used to, we used to say we could hurt someone if we threw this wheat bread at someone or the crackers oh, it was yeah. just so yeah. yeah yeah so all of that bread crackers all of that is processed food. Yeah, the, everything yeah. was in there like, yeah oh my gosh okay. um and uh what was i gonna say no, oh, I lost my train. So. Sorry, That's I was okay. Distracted with MREs. Yeah. Oh, she was yeah. just thinking how horrible that food is. No, no, I remember what I was going to say. One of the reasons <laughs> why I stopped being a vegetarian was that all the protein substitutes, or most of it, was such processed food. You know, all those yes. Beyond Burgers and and all of those veggie burgers, all that. It's all processed food. It's all with additives and it's really has so many chemicals in it. So that's all. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Number three. You ready? Drink more water. Cheers. Um, now this, I'm sure everyone has heard so many times, but what, wherever you're at on your water level, increase it so drinking a lot of water not only keeps you a little full too mm -hmm. and so you're not going to be snacking as much but it's also flushing out a lot of um anything you know bacteria is everything you have mm -hmm. inside and it really how do you feel about adding fresh fruit well fruit has sugar so that mm -hmm. is adding sugar to your even if it's citrus? No, so it's, it's a little, little lemon juice, something you can do. Um, it is adding, well, lemon juice has other benefits too because it can lower okay. blood sugar. Just asking because yeah. I, I put, I freeze, yeah. I cut lemon, I freeze it. Yeah. And then I just throw a couple in. Yeah, you can do. I mean, if the, whatever, if that makes you drink more water, then yeah. but it's when we start adding the sweeteners and those Kool -Aid. Um, Kool Aid and Crystal Light or whatever it is no that is just um, and we're going to get into more of that later but uh, just increase water as well and if you're someone that works out especially when it's hot like it is here in florida you need to increase your water intake there is it has no um negative effects now if you're someone that works out a lot uh drinks a lot and sweats a lot you need to add some electrolytes mm. to your um to your drinks because it is to your water and not in every glass of water you drink but it, it's a good idea to add some because it with all the peeing 
Um, yeah. You do pee out a lot of, of minerals, salts and minerals. So the it's good to add a good. little. And, but add then an uh, electrolyte that has no sugar, no um, artificial additives, yeah. stuff like that. And I do, I put a link. I like Element electrolytes. Those are really great. There's a raw form too. That's just like drinking salt water. It might sound awful, but it I is. do. Uh, it, no, okay. I, I you get used to it. But their flavored ones are really good. My favorite's the uh, citrus salt. I put that in, in, in a link salt in the in show notes. I almost really good. My whole family uh, really enjoys those. But they have a little bit of stevia, um, the the flavored ones, but nothing else um, okay. unhealthy. Okay, uh, number four. This one is important, and it, that's one area where I have really changed. And I know I am so excited. It. Number four is concentrate on protein. So, when you build your meal, or build your plate, or plan your meal, sometimes we plan it around. Um, the potatoes or the pasta or whatever. No, you need to start building from the protein. Protein is so important, especially as we age, especially for us women. We do not get enough protein. So what is enough protein? Well, the FDA um, uh, reg whatever regulations are not enough. So what you should aim mm. for is uh, a gram per pound of desired body. That's a key word. So if you are a female, you say that you are 160 pounds, but you want to be 150, then you go for 150 grams of protein is what you should aim for within a day. And let me tell you that if you eat the right amount of protein, protein is very uh, um has a high satiety, so you're not going to feel hungry. It's going to feel like, and this is something Ingrid, you and I have talked, that you don't eat enough food. So by just making sure that you get your round, right amount of protein, it's going to be great for you. You're going to increase your metabolism. Yeah, too. this is going to be interesting because I don't actually get hungry. Yeah. So this is something that I'm going to have to purposely. So you just need to make sure you, you get it. And this is yes. almost like, you got to work on this, and I wasn't getting nearly as much as I did as, as I needed. And for us women, again, this is when we age, we need not less protein; we need more protein. So, yeah, one about aim for about thirty grams at least thirty grams per meal, and then if you notice, I still can't get enough. That's when you can do a protein shake and. Uh, protein. Exactly. Or, a, you know, protein bar or something <laughs> else, protein rich um, to add to it. But this is where most of us go wrong. So start with the protein. Do we know what protein is? I think most people do. Yeah. But it's like, you know, your meat, your fish, your eggs. Eggs is a great source of protein if you are vegetarian, not if you're vegan. And I will say, if you're vegan, it's hard. You need to eat so much more quantities of plant protein in order to uh, hit these levels. So you need to pretty much eat constantly. And that also increases the amount of calories you take in. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of skinny fat vegans out there, meaning they have very little muscle mass. They might not be fat, fat but they have the percentage of body fat is so yes. much higher because they're not getting enough protein. Okay, so I hope I um, got you excited about all the protein you can eat. Ingrid, right? Yes. Now, this one is Ingrid's least favorite, but this is the one where she needs to concentrate the most in this fall reset. Number five, prioritize sleep. Da, 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 da. needs his own vignette um again we could get away with four hours of sleep three hours of sleep in our 20s we can't do that anymore if you have one night of bad sleep 
which means less than seven hours, it completely affects your metabolism. So your sugar cravings go up, your cortisol, which is the stress hormone that also can increase, um, you know, it weight gain. And all of that, just one night of bad sleep will um, have effects on how your metabolism and how your body functions. So yeah, we've all had nights where we can't. I function on. No, that's not a question. You can function, but are you functioning at your highest level? Wow, I mean, if you're saying that seven hours is needed. Seven is the minimum. So seven to eight is seven to nine. Some people just need more sleep but when i sleep seven eight uh -huh. i feel i've, I've wasted no day okay well the the less you sleep the, the quicker you're gonna die so oh gosh yes. so morbid okay so i <laughs> it's I, true <laughs> i'm sorry we're just being real here <laughs> i sleep it's probably, true well i try to go to bed earlier well it's not a question of how much time you spend in your bed that is not the. But sleep, yeah, no, I mean. But I mean, starting to go to bed earlier is probably a good idea because it might take you time to wind down. But I think we need another sleep episode where we're really going to tackle. We need a sleep expert. If anyone I, knows of a I good was, sleep I expert? I was just going to say that because I way. don't sleep a, uh -huh. a whole lot, but that's okay. So, but I do as, know that it is important. It is so important, and all the fitness gurus and doctors out there. They're all saying, we, we got it wrong. We need to constantly sleep is as important as fitness and nutrition. Yeah. I have a friend it that is, sleeps it's 10 like, hours. The one? I have a friend that sleeps 10 hours. Well, I'm, I'm sure there's something as known as sleeping too much as well. But she might be in bed for 10 hours. She might not have deep sleep. And mm -hmm. So one of, a great thing to do is to get a sleep tracker. Which in all I've talked about the aura ring. I still I don't have one, but I will get one. And because it's be interesting to know how much deep sleep. I don't always sleep great. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's um it's something we need to prioritize. So yes, seven hours, Ingrid. That's what we gotta I do. do. Prioritize this for my children. So you should live live like you learn, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So yes. <laughs> yes. I will, I will work on that. These Some of yeah. these are a little harder. So when we don't sleep properly is also when we crave more unhealthy foods. It's when, uh, but, but just think of it this way. You, when you don't sleep enough, you, the day after whatever you eat is going to affect you more than if you have a great night's sleep. If you eat the exact same thing the following day, your body's going to process it differently. So you're setting your own body up for failure by not sleeping. Okay. And of course, some of us, like me right now, wake up in the middle of the night, have a hard time going back to sleep. But then it's a question of finding something that helps you. Maybe it's something in your environment you need to change. It sounded like I was going to throw my husband out. I'm not. <laughs> no, but it might be it's too cold or too warm or too well, something. I have it on here in my notes. So something that I use for the, my children is white noise. Well, that's a great idea. I would love some white noise machines. I love those. So yeah, uh, and diffusers. Yeah, yeah. So, but whatever it, works. I but do it's that important for my children. Too. But... And if it's not working, then you need to seek some help for it because it is so. It's a life and death importance. I'm gonna die. Well, we all are, but you know, if you don't sleep too. properly, then I always say I'm gonna sleep when I die. Well, you will, and it will happen sooner. Um, okay, so that was a touchy subject. Yes, yeah. so. I'm like, oh man. Okay, see, but this is great because this is we the, get the real stuff here. Yes. We don't sugarcoat anything. No. Yes. Okay. Number six. Talked about this too last week, but oh, yes. I'm going to do even more of it. Walk more. So walking, it's something most of us without disabilities can do and mm -hmm. should do way more. I talked about it last week when I said parking further away from the grocery store, all those little tricks, yes, but make an, uh, a real effort into getting more walking into your day. 
we all should be aiming for at least 10,000 steps a day. Of course, we're not going to get it every yeah. day. Uh, but I don't have a, a, a exactly. Apple Watch, but just by having my phone with me, it kind of tracks it. Mm -hmm. And if it's not exact, that's okay, but you'll see patterns. So uh, we were just looking at, at my phone before we, we came on, and it said that I have started since uh, last year, I've increased my walking. Well, I added another walk with a dog. So usually my husband walked the dog at night. Now I walk as well. Yes. Just that little, what is it, 15 minute walk made a huge, makes, makes a huge. And I hope that the walking is, if you don't do any activity at all, yep. then yes, walking at night is great. But that should not take away from you working out. Walking. No, resistant training and walking are two very yeah. different things. Well, no, because people say walking, they work out, yeah. but just. Be well, aware this is I will main. say it is a form of cardiovascular exercise, yes. walking. So yes, it's not a, a muscle, it's not resistance mm -hmm. training, absolutely not. But it is you are moving your body, so it is a cardiovascular training. So if you are someone who can't run or uh don't want to go on a treadmill or don't want to do crazy, then walking is a great yeah, alternative. But I don't want it to replace the No, absolutely the not. And so also, if you have access to a treadmill, then you can walk on inclines. You could do little hikes up and down, yeah. which will increase uh, the cardiovascular uh, activity. So, but walking anywhere, and it's feet, so everyone yeah. could do it. You just need to get outside and fall. We'll send you a link for walking. So, yeah. <laughs> so it will be cooler. So I'm going to add, um, I'm definitely going to track my daily steps more. I'm going to try that. Yeah, no. I don't do that. Okay. So then this one, number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is, this is very, well, it is personal to me, but I think everyone can relate. This is something I have to work hard on. <laughs> so I'm going to drink less alcohol. What's sad? No. So I, as a European, we love our wine. I'm not gonna lie. I like a glass of wine every day or two. Uh, but I, I mean, I, I take a few days a week off. But I'm gonna. I don't always track it. But I am making an effort of not three nights a week. There's gonna be no alcohol at least three nights, and then if it's four and five, that'd be great. But I do love my wine. And I think, and this I know in the summer I drink more of it because it's every night's a party. But um, if that's not you, because I know that's not English, she does not like, I, I'm not big on hard liquor. You're not big on any alcohol. No. no. But if it's so, maybe alcohol is not your device, or, or what do you call it? Uh, vice. Vice. It did the vice. Vice. And maybe it's the sugary drinks. Maybe it's the soda. Maybe it's the sweet tea. Maybe it's the, oh, even worse, the diet sodas with all the chemicals. Um, maybe it's the creamer, the sweetened sweeten creamer in your coffee. Yes. Whatever it is, if you're adding something to that has sugars or alcohols or anything that you're drinking a lot of, just cut down on that. And again, we're going to drink more water. So the more water we drink, the less it makes a big difference. I mean, even with the the creamer. I mean, yeah. Have you ever looked at the serving size for mm -hmm. a creamer? <laughs> yeah, it's. it's I like don't think any of us. I don't think any of us keep to that. So serving. you do that just just for the yeah. just to humor us. Yep. You know, look at the creamer that you guys like as a pumpkin. Yep. And look at the serving size and look at the calories and just think of yes. how much you put in a cup. Yep. It's almost sometimes I see I see people's um, coffee cups mm -hmm. and it's creamer with a splash of coffee. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, oh dear God. Oh, so another so another one and, and this is where a lot of us need to pay attention is the lattes. So I do love a pumpkin spice latte. Uh, but the amount of sugar in the syrup is outrageous. Mm. And then you have the skim milk. Oh, because I usually want the skim milk. I'm not a big fan of. Do you know how much sugar there is in skim milk? Did you not know that? Well, I mean, 
I know there's sugar, but when you look at the label, it's pretty sickening. So I now order it with almond milk if it's unsweet because they so Dunkin' yeah. Donuts don't have unsweet almond milk. Starbucks does. Just saying, I have no um, connection to either one of them. But, yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, ask for unsweetened alternatives if you want lattes it's gonna save you so many sugar calories yeah so many things so many things in the so old. many things but i yeah. am gonna have less of my red wine but hopefully i'll enjoy it even more on the days when i will have it yeah those were my seven steps to uh fall reset that we all could and probably should do. Love How it. do you feel? Great. There's a, there's, there's a few that are going to be a little challenging, so I'll keep you posted. Sleep. <laughs> yes, yes. But hey, it's a new beginning, new chance. Lucky right? seven. Lucky, Lucky seven. seven. Fall. Yes. Lucky seven. seven. All right. So let's sh let's share our waters today. Uh, until next time. Cheers. Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh.